Greetings everyone, I'm Dr. Ant. In today's video, I will be explaining what a Creole language is and why English is a Creole language. Linguists put English into the Germanic language family. One linguist even goes so far as to state that English is a specifically Scandinavian language. Indeed, there are quite a few words in English that are Scandinavian. Here are a few of the many words. Anger, awe, big, birth, cake, cross, die, dream, egg, flat, gift, guest, hug, leg, loan, mistake, root, seat, skin, tight, trust, ugly, and window, and the days of the week. <clears throat> How can English be both Germanic and specifically Scandinavian? By the way, this is not a Creole, as Scandinavian languages are in the Germanic group of the Indo-European family of languages. Anglo-Saxons invaded Britain from Germanic Western Europe and were in control of Britain by about 450 Common Era. Between 865 and 877 Common Era, Danish Vikings conquered Northern England. The region under Danish control became known as the Dane Law. Danish control lasted about 100 years, but had a lasting impact on place names and vocabulary. The major change in the English language began in 1066 when William the Conqueror invaded England from the Normandy region of France and conquered England. A fun quirk of history is that Normandy is named for the Norse Vikings, Norsemen, who invaded the region of France around 900 Common Era. The Vikings intermarried with the local people and essentially became French. William the Conqueror, despite Viking ancestry, was a French-speaking aristocrat. Now, what is a Creole language? A Creole language is a combination of languages that not only changes vocabulary, but also changes verb structure and tense. German has a very different verb structure from English. English speakers say, it rained yesterday, it rains today, it will rain tomorrow, but in German it would translate yesterday it rained, today it rained, tomorrow it rained. The verb form does not change. In French, the verb form changes as it does in English. As pointed out by Kenneth Chin in his TED Talk, English is an outlier among Germanic languages. See the link to Chin's TED Talk in the description box below. Chin calls languages that do not change verb tense futureless languages. German is a futureless language. Languages that do change verb tense are futured languages. Both English and French are futured languages. English is a Creole of German, Scandinavian, and French. French vocabulary was not just added to Germanic English. The entire verb structure was changed to a French verb structure. How did this happen? This is my hypothesis. Beginning in 1066, the rulers of England spoke French. Therefore, all governing was done in French. The elites in the kingdom all spoke French. However, the peasant working class spoke a Germanic language I will call Angloish. The French-speaking elites needed servants in their homes and castles and in their stables and grounds. The source of these servants would be children of the peasant working class. It was common for children as young as six or seven to begin such work. To do their jobs, the children would have to learn French. The children lived in the homes or castles of their employers, so they would quickly pick up French. When they went back to their villages to visit their families once a week or so, they would speak Angloish. For a long time, perhaps a few generations, these workers would be bilingual, speaking both Angloish and French. However, at some point, the two languages would begin to merge into a new third language, which we call English. English is a Creole language. 
It is a combination of Angloish and French, but with a French verb tense rather than the original Germanic verb tense. Watch the second video in the description box below to learn how a linguist in Australia saw a Creole language being created by children in an isolated outback community. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.